Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Mars is rubbing my arm and meowing. Uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up, a little reminder about some things. Tomorrow is June 8th, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, my God. Yes. And that would be the 50th anniversary, the 50-year anniversary of the attack on the USS Liberty when Israel carried out an attack on the USS Liberty, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's going to be an interview on that show that I like, What Really Happened, Mike Rivero, 5 o'clock Eastern until 7. Tomorrow he's going to be having Phil Turney, I think it is, T-O-U-R-N-E-Y, I think is the spelling. I think his first name's Phil. Oh, my gosh. I should maybe get the information before I come in. He was on board the Liberty, and he's been an um, ardent, outspoken um, truth teller about the situation for years. And in fact, I believe he has his own radio. Look at that little thing. He has his own uh, radio show, The Liberty Hour, or something like that. I've never heard it, but I just heard of it the other day. So if you'd like to learn more about the USS Liberty incident that happened on uh, June 8, 1967, uh, you can tune in to what really happened tomorrow at 5 o'clock Eastern on the on YouTube and listen live to uh, Mike Rivero talking to a gentleman who was on board the ship. And, of course, I've mentioned before there are videos. There's uh, the, what's it called, what's it called? BBC did a documentary called Dead in the Water, the USS Liberty, or the USS Liberty Dead in the Water whichever i'm not sure um in what order that goes so i think it's really important um this was one of the stepping stones to my finding out uh what exactly is going on in this world and who sort of runs the show this would have been after right around the same right i guess in the same week that i learned of miko pallid uh, my personal hero i'm sure you're sick of hearing of him no it's not like i talk about miko pallid every time i come on here ladies and gentlemen but anyhow during that week, it came to when I found out three or four years, four years ago, maybe. I don't know. I think maybe three. When I found out the true history of that region and, um, you know, started looking up videos and stuff. I'm trying to hold my camera steady because I know Mars is going to rub me wildly. Uh, that's when I ran across this USS Liberty stuff. I had never heard of it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, have you heard of it? Let me know in the comment section when in your life it came to light about the USS Liberty incident uh, which really consisted of Israel for I think it was a 75 minute or 72 minute over an hour long attack on the USS Liberty uh, they really wanted to sink the ship kill everybody on board to bring us into the six day war kind of situation over there and um, much to their chagrin they did not uh, mission was not accomplished because, um, well, they did kill 34, I believe 34, and wounded 170-something, and used napalm and all that have been over. Uh, but there were survivors, totally, and they've been on a mission since, and I think they even gather in Washington annually. I wish I could go. I've never been. Mars, um, I think it would be, you know, I'd like to give my support. I do the best I can. Uh, with videos, I've shared them on the USS Liberty Facebook page. Also, what else? What else? Oh, the day was sparkly, uh, wonderful. There was not a cloud in the sky when this happened. The American flag was huge. There were, uh, and at one point, I think they took down that flag or, and put up the huge one, whatever one they do. That's they have several flags on a ship. I don't know. I'm not a sailor. Um, I almost joined the Navy. Though, I'll tell you that later. They put up a huge, 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 the biggest flag you can put up. They knew damn well it was an American ship. In fact, some of the men that were on the deck literally made eye contact with the uh, pilots and um, waved and stuff back and forth. I mean, it was totally, oh, my God. Anyhow, USS Liberty, 50-year anniversary of this hideous, hideous, unacknowledged, really, incident. It's only been acknowledged in, in the manner that some people say, oh, it was a dreadful mistake. We've all learned the error of our ways. Bull. B.S. Boulder Dash. Okay. Anyhow. Uh, what was the name of the show again? Um, what really happened? Five o'clock tomorrow. You can uh, hear an interview with the gentleman. Or if you have time, just look it up on 
on um, YouTube or do some reading on the USS Liberty. The uh, Like I said, the Dead in the Water BBC documentary is very good. I think it's from the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. There's updated stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Or you could support them by joining their YouTube, not YouTube, um, Facebook page. I think it's uh, just USS Liberty or Survivors of the Liberty. You'll find it. I have all the faith in the world in you. I just wanted to bring this information to you now so you can maybe prepare ahead of time set aside tomorrow a moment of silence or whatever you want to do and uh, also so i wouldn't forget to tell you because you know i am i got the date wrong the first time i did it just the day i thought it was june 6th but i was getting d-day confused with the uss liberty a lot of stuff goes on in june doesn't it okay signing off ladies and gentlemen lounging with lisa wait before i go i had to find a ponytail holder which I shouldn't have to find because I don't like my hair this long. I have to get it cut. Uh, my lady, who does it, my lady, uh, she has pink eyes, so we're waiting on her to clear up before she comes over and chops. Anyhow, couldn't find a hair holder. Guess where I located it? In the cat water bowl. Do you know why? Louise is totally enthralled with hair holders and those um, dental picks, the ones that are plastic and they have a piece of dental floss kind of here and then da, da, da. I'm so sorry she excuse me she would be completely satisfied if we got her a package of uh, ponytail holders and um, dental plastic dental picks as toys she's always creeping up stealing them and she loves to take them to the water bowl and drop them in ladies and gentlemen everyone in this house has gone crazy Signing off, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging, while reminding you tomorrow of this solemn occasion. While reminding you of the solemn occasion that the anniversary is tomorrow. Oh my gosh.